We conclude It Takes Two Week with someone very important to us, our marriage counselor from NYU School of Medicine. Please welcome Dr. Linda Carter. Hi, Dr. Carter. We're so excited to have you here. You're really um, somebody that we didn't even know we needed in our lives, but we're yeah. so grateful that you came to us when you did. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so let's get right to it because a lot of people um, we were just talking to Cheryl Lee Ralph about this. A lot of people's uh, relationships sort of broke down during the pandemic, mm -hmm. right? Um, so when you have a couples that come in to see you in person, what's the first thing you notice about them? What, what is like a red flag? Not necessarily a red flag, but body language, how they connect with each other, mm -hmm. how they relate to each other. Um, and you, you, you can really see if it's, uh, if there's a, Kind of chemistry there, mm. which is obvious. I noticed you when we when we first sat in your in your office. You were looking at us a lot. You were checking. You were you were, you were like like uh, tracking us a little bit. I, that that's what she was doing. Really? Yeah, she you was think? clocking it. How do yeah. we have normal body language? Better, better, better than normal. Better. <laughs> so what if you, what if somebody came into the office and they're like this? Is that good? Um, I'd say that they're closing themselves off okay, a little how about bit. This? Yeah. <laughs> open is how better. Open. How about this? <laughs> no, 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 no. That'd be bad, right? That would be bad. You know what I find interesting is that Mark has never fallen asleep while we've been in session together, <laughs> which is a really yeah. the highest compliment I can possibly think because he tends to fall asleep a lot. Fall asleep. Yeah, I yeah. mean... You know what, I th someone told me um, that it's because I have a very clean conscience. <laughs> <laughs> no guilt, no, no stress. Guilt. No guilt, no, guilt, no stress, no, no regrets. So no regrets. Let's get to what we're doing yeah. here. Let's say a couple has an argument at home. And then let's say, for the sake of argument, that they have to go to work together. What's the best way to deal with that? I think that it's really important to have a ritual for knowing that things are fine, the argument is over, holding hands, um, you know, with, with some a light. A signal. A signal. Yeah. yeah. Squeezing their partner's hand. What if the argument isn't over, Dr. Carter? Well, it's a signal that we'll get back to this later, but for now we're putting it on hold. Because we've had a disagreement, and we've had to go, not, not here, but had to go to a public setting, a party or a dinner party, and I'll go in to signal, Dr. Carter, that I'm done with the argument, and I want to, just by a holding of the hand, I want to Perfect. hold the hand, and what I feel on the other side of this warmth, what I feel on the other side of this warmth is the coldest, deadest hands. <laughs> because when she's happy with me, she gives me a squeeze, a little touch, but what she's signaling, it's, it's like, I do, it's I like a corpse. I'm holding a corpse. <laughs> and you do it on purpose. And then what happens after that is I, I hold the hand, it's dead, and I'll look to her like this, and she sees me by, out of the corner of her eye, and she just goes. <laughs> <laughs> like, buddy, this ain't over yet. Right. Is that okay? No, squeeze his hand. Squeeze his hand. Yeah. You, I should reanimate the hand. <laughs> reanimate the hand, and which lets him know it's over for now. We will get back to this later, don't worry. Since the pandemic, a lot of couples have been, uh, they find themselves in a position where they are living together and working mm -hmm. from home. So how do people navigate that shared space successfully? By talking about it openly, like, I, this is too close, I need a little space, I'm gonna go into the other room and then come back mm -hmm. when, when it's time to resume. We do that pretty well, I think. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we've talked about this. I'm not going to bring in all of our couples therapy. No, no. That's the pay-per-view special. Yes, yes. But sometimes, like, if I walk into another room for space, somebody walks in right behind right. me. Yeah, you know? I do that. Sometimes. All right. Because it's anxiety-provoking, that separation, that right. moving yeah. away. Yeah. So I have I, to give him the warm hand warm and then hand. walk away. And say, I need a minute, and then I'm going to go. Okay, we have to take a commercial yeah. break, but here's the good news. When we come back, we're going to find out how Mark can live five years longer. <laughs> Just Mark.
We're back with Dr. Linda Carter, our marriage counselor. Well, so what do you talk to uh, couples like us who are empty nesters? Uh, what's the best piece of advice you could give for people like us? To do new things together. Bring fun, adventure, new activities, dance lessons, for example. That was so fun. We did that yeah. this week. Really? Yeah. yeah. We did? Really? Yeah. I mean, you know, just new creative activities that bring a sense of adventure, even a sense of risk into your relationship. That was, we did that, that last was, year. We rock climbed. Yeah, we rock climbed. Oh, perfect. It brings you together. It, it yeah. does. And what happens uh, to a couple when, say, one person <laughs> is retiring and the other person <laughs> has decided to stay? in the workforce, how does that go? I think it's so important to verbalize and talk about your expectations. Mm. So say Mark is retiring and- Thank Why you. is Mark <laughs> retiring? <laughs> Why does Mark I, always get to retire? I just started, I just, I just started. <laughs> We're talking down the road. Down, down the road, road. yes. Um, and wants to have lunch with you every day. This is the complaint I hear from wives oh who have oh. husbands retiring. I didn't marry you for lunch. Now the biggest takeaway of this segment what can we do that's gonna make me live, what, five years longer? Yeah. Well, there was a German study, this was so surprising and fascinating, that showed that husbands that kiss their wives goodbye in the morning lived five years longer. Not only that, they made more money, oh. and they, their health was better. I that's do that. That's incredible, yeah, you do do, do that. that. Yeah, yeah, so you're I'm going, in. you're in. <laughs> you're in forever. Dr. Carter, thank you. These are yes, such practical you. tips, yeah, very uh, easy to follow, and we really appreciate working with you and you being here for us. Yeah. We'll be right back.